Hello viewers, I want to welcome you to this video. This is a very special uh, recording machine. You take a look at it, it looks a lot like a record player. You know, you have your quote-unquote record, your quote-unquote needle to go on the record. This device, I believe, came out in 1949 and is manufactured by General Electric. Let's go ahead and turn the device on. Well, this machine, I'm sorry to say, is not a record player. This particular unit is a magnetic disc recorder. It is intended for use by children. After the valves or vacuum tubes have warmed up, thermionic valves, thank you very much, we can play some music that I recorded onto it. Obviously, I did not perform this music. I just played it from YouTube. And then that's an example of music recording complete with multiple multitudes of dropouts because tape or disc to head contact is really, really uh, <laughs> not the most consistent thing in the world, am I right? Okay, we're going to be trying voice recording. Now, recording time on this thing is very, very, very low. But we're going to try a voice recording on this. Keep in mind, this is a camera turn production. And this unit was a gift from Amberola1B on YouTube. Sending out my thanks to Amberola1B on YouTube. This is a test recording on the General Electric Play Talk. You can see the way the speaker looks right here. Uh, front of the speaker is here. The back of the speaker is vented too. So a child could still talk in the back and it would still get picked up. The speaker is used as a microphone. Sending out my thanks to Amberola1B on YouTube. This is a test recording on the General Electric play talk. You can see the way the speaker looks right here. Uh, front of the speaker here, the back of the speaker is vented too. So a child could still talk in the back and it would still get picked up. The speaker is used in the microphone. This unit has no erase head. In order to erase, in order to erase, you either you can use an external permanent magnet, such as a uh, refrigerator uh, magnet, or if you really want to get exciting, you can use a bulk eraser intended to erase magnetic tapes, which should result in less background noise, considering the bulk erasers plugging into the wall use 60 hertz AC and therefore provide AC erasure as opposed to permanent magnet erasure. I haven't timed the recording time, but it, I would say it's probably only a couple of minutes. It's very, very short recording time on the PlayTalk disc. Here's another view of the PlayTalk recorder. You can see some of the children's type pictures, nursery rhyme, reading, to a group of kids or a young girl with a dog and a cat and a basketed bird. When we get to the front of the machine, General Electric Electronic Toys Play Talk. Now, I do not know, oh, freaking, I do not know whether this is AC or DC bias. I've kind of assumed DC bias because simpler circuitry, but it might be AC bias. We'll look at the other side of the plate. Oh, we see a mustached man, a mustached man with a mortgage 
This woman's like, oh, please, I'll do anything. And then we got the children over here singing. And then we got the piano player, the flute, and the cello. I can't help but be reminded of my dear friend Dan Beard, who plays the bass cello and is very skilled. Um, he was shown uh, just a still picture of him in the video on the um, voice controller cassette recorder, VSC machine, variable speech controller recorder, because he gave that recorder to me. Here's a little bit of a closer view of the talk, top, top, top. Top, 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 top. Here's a bit of a closer view of the top of the play talk. At the beginning of the disc, it's not so good with, uh, you know, a lot of dropouts, you know what I mean? Maybe that time it came out all right. I had some other recordings I'd made earlier on this disc before the video. And I was trying to play them back. And the ones at the beginning had a lot of dropouts. But it would probably be maybe the needle wasn't adjusted. Because there is a needle on here. You may see right here. It's a small needle. Bring. I got a text message. The needle goes into the disc this inner disc which actually has grooves on it like a record this disc is used to guide the head along in a spiral the spiral track on the uh, magnetic disc the old boon you can take this disc off and you can see there's a slight indention right here which goes into this little post General Electric Play Talk Disc, catalog number SPM002. Caution, keep surface of pickup clean where it contacts disc. Place paper disc on turntable with pin through hole X. Set guide on disc. Turn until locked by pin. Set volume control to dot. Then turn switch to talk. Hold magnet on disc with arrow towards center. Allow two turns for erasing. Set arm guide pin in outside groove of guide. Hold microphone six inches from mouth and speak normally. To listen, turn switch to play and increase volume. To erase and make renew recording, begin with instruction number four. Electronics Park, Syracuse, New York. Those are the instructions printed on the disc of the Playtalk. Notice that whenever you're looking at a screen of the camera, where the screen is facing outward toward you, if the camera were to be pointed at you, you will always default to zooming the wrong way first. And that really, really irritates me. Now, whatever original recordings that have been on this disc are long gone, and they were not erased by me. They're, they're, they were already gone when I got the machine. But you can see on the back of the disc, blurrily probably, it says, John O. Sings. Now, of course, you couldn't read that because it was too blurry, and I don't have an external monitor monitoring my video. I only have the tiny screen of the camera itself. But anyway... Don't forget the disc. Oh, yeah. I'm not very smart, am I? I hope you enjoyed this production. This is a production performed by Turn Camera Productions. Shot on the 20th of January, 2020. Martin Luther King Day.
This has been a Cassette Master production.